In this video, we're going to be looking at Pythagorean means and their properties. So there's three Pythagorean means, and there are the arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. The arithmetic mean is the most common. This is just adding up all the numbers and dividing by how many they are. The geometric mean is first multiplying all the numbers and taking the root, or the nth root, which here n represents a number of numbers you're multiplying. And the harmonic mean is the total numbers divided by one over the sum of one over each of the numbers. Now for the properties of the Pythagorean means, we have first the homogeneity, which says the mean of b times x1 all the way up to xn is the same thing as factoring out the b and then taking the mean of x1 all the way up to xn. So if you, you can think of this as just like factoring out the scalar. And here we're multiplying by the same number, which is b. The second property is invariance under exchange. That means if I take the mean of numbers that are in different order, I'm still going to get the same result. So it doesn't really matter the order because when you're adding them or multiplying, that is closed under addition and multiplication. Now, monotonicity says that if I take the mean of a set of numbers that is smaller than another set of numbers, then the mean of the smaller set of numbers should be less than the mean of the bigger numbers. Now, the last one is idempotence, which says for all x, if we find the mean of numbers that are all the same, the mean is just going to be x. Now, from this, we know that the minimum and the maximum are obviously the minimum and the maximum compared to the means. The harmonic mean is always going to be the smallest of the three means. The geometric mean is in the middle, and then our arithmetic mean will always be greater than or equal to the other two means. Now, the only way that these means are all equal is when all the numbers are the same. So that was uh, item potence. Now, here we see that the harmonic mean and the arithmetic mean are reciprocal duals of each other. And this is only if they're positive numbers. So taking the harmonic mean of 1 over x1 all the way up to 1 over xn is the same thing as taking 1 over the arithmetic mean of x1 all the way up to xn. Similarly, the geometric mean is its own reciprocal dual. So if I take the geometric mean of 1 over x1 all the way to 1 over xn, that's the same thing as saying, okay, 1 over the geometric mean of x1 all the way up to xn. Now let's take a look at an example. Let's say we have four numbers, 3, 7, 9, and 10. The arithmetic mean <clears throat> will be us adding all the four numbers and dividing by four, which in this case is 7.25. The geometric mean is first finding the product and then taking the fourth root. So this is about 6.59. The arithmetic mean is first starting with the number 4 and then dividing by the sum of the reciprocals. So this is about 5.82. As you can see, the harmonic mean is the smallest of the three means, the geometric mean is the next smallest, and arithmetic mean is the largest.